So that's a third way that we can hear from God, from a person. It doesn't contradict the word. Here's another way, from the Holy Spirit. Sometimes the Holy Spirit ministers to our spirit. Romans 8, 14 says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the children of God. And sometimes the Holy Spirit will just speak a word into your heart, into your life. Uh, several years ago now, uh, I was uh, praying in my office and I had a a uh, heavy burden on my heart. I couldn't explain it for a particular a family in our church and a, a one mother in particular. I haven't done this very many times in my whole life, but I felt so strongly impressed to call her on the phone. And so I called her on the phone and said, I just felt like the Lord wanted me to call you. And she said, just this moment, she says, she said, I'm so glad that you called. She said, I've, had, I've just had a miscarriage. And I said, well, God just wants you to know that he loves you. And, and I just prayed with her and ministered to her. It was just an appointment arranged by God, the Spirit of God. Don't tell me the Spirit of God didn't lead me to call her. And I don't have a thousand stories like that or a hundred or even ten. I have, you know, just a few stories, but that does happen too. And then uh, I believe that sometimes uh, God speaks uh, to us. Uh, through a dream. I don't think God appears to us in dreams. I don't think God even orchestrates the dreams, but sometimes when we, so, but here's the key now. Get down the frequency of this. This is all the time. This is not nearly as often. This is much less frequently still. This is less and less still, okay? And so these people who are walking around, the Spirit told me this. I had another dream, da 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 da, da. It's, That's not how it really is. In fact, let's call this very common less common, not common, uncommon, very uncommon. If you keep it in that order, you'll get a word from God. You will. Now, here's the way to test it. <laughs> if it's from the Bible, don't test it, just do it. All right? If it's from another person, be humble and receive the word, but check it against the scripture yourself to make sure it's really accurately what God's word says. And if it's from a person, not from word, you need to check it carefully. And if it's spirit, check your Bible very carefully and reference other people and say, this is what I think the spirit might be directing me about. How does this sound to you? And in something, here be extremely cautious. Now, I think that is a good biblical presentation on this point, how to get a word from God. Now, every person in this room for your life, for your future, things start to pile up. And when they do, what you desperately need is you need to see God afresh for who he really is. And you need a word from him about your life.